This is my Baldwin spinet piano that I got for two hundred dollars, and uh, yeah, I was like looking up spinet pianos this morning, and uh, a lot of piano technicians say they're they're really bad, but considering. Considering I got this for $200 and it was barely over $200 to move it. Um, it uh, just in comparison to my $1,400 electric Yamaha piano, I, I, I prefer this piano a lot more. Sure, um, I have played upright pianos. And uh, the keys here are much shorter. So that is a disadvantage, I'll admit. So you really get a feel. And uh, it is hard tuning this. I, uh, I didn't, I've never tuned an upright piano, but it makes sense how short the strings are. Um, because if you see here, the action, the action has to draw back. It's a drop action, it's below this bar because it's so short, it's only 35 inches. So normally the action, like the jack and uh, the butt um, is actually above this bar giving it, I, I don't know the name, but I do know spinets have like, what's called a drop action. I kind of got lucky. Um, Baldwin's are known to make the best spinet pianos. Um, this isn't the Aerosonic spinet piano, so it's not the, the particular brand, but I am happy to know that I got a, a, a brand, uh, a brand piano that's uh, known and respected for back in the day. They don't even make uh, spinet pianos anymore. There's a, a console. There's a new, there's like a, since the 90s, a console, a console design that uh, where basically it's over 40 inches and the action the drop action is actually above, the strings are longer, and it's only a few inches taller. So the spinet is officially obsolete, but from, uh, how do I explain this? The reputation that a spinet has, sure, it's harder to tune. Um, the key action isn't as good. Um, if something's wrong with the piano, it's way harder for a technician to work on it. But the reputation that uh, that I that uh, that I heard from from a lot of technicians is like almost get, it gives you the feeling like you should never get a spin up piano. And uh, from my experience, I'm just posting this video just saying um I would, uh, I would rather this broken, well, it's not broken, but I would rather this like $200, um, 50 year old spinet piano, this 50 year old Baldwin way more than a Yamaha electric piano, uh, way more. Um, when you think about it, an electric piano is going to have short keys on you anyways, unless you're getting a very expensive five grand one, but I, mine was $1,400. Remember that. So yeah, you're gonna get short keys anyways. And this like, ha like has the real hammer action. Like I can actually feel it. Like sure, it's not the best sound. It's not as good as an upright, but considering I live in an apartment where I have to be quiet anyways. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm just saying like, if you find yourself like a, a reputable, like particularly an Aerosonic Baldwin or any other Baldwin spinet piano, and you're just starting out in the piano industry and you know you know it's cheap and you know there's not much wrong with it you know 
any technician is going to tell you, like, don't get the piano just because they don't want to work on it because it's more work for their buck. They have to charge the same price. But honestly, it, yeah, it's a little harder tuning. It's a little bit more frustrating getting into it. It's true it is obsolete. But from my experience, this piano is so much better than something a thousand, like an electric piano that's a thousand dollars more. Another thing with the tuning is you can't get it quite perfect. So if you played, I don't know, a song that I'm going to be learning once I get a G key, this G key right here. I don't know if you can hear that squeak. Also, if you press the keys too early in the morning to play it, but the, the hammer state, see? It's the only key that does that. But what I'm getting at is if I was playing, I'm, I'm going to be learning once I get this key fixed and a, another squeak in this key and an E key over there, I'm, I'm going to be learning Claire de Lune. And that has like very precise chords that have very pure harmonies. And I'm a little bit worried that a spin at piano is not going to quite pick up those harmonies as well as like a, a, a more professional uh, built pianos. But you know, other than that, it's uh, it's harder to tune. It's hard. It's definitely harder to maintain. But bang for your buck. Um, you know, I it, I do like the the sleek image of this. I I would say, don't listen to the technician. Just tip them extra. You know, have the courtesy to takes uh, to tip them extra. I'm gonna get a technician in here to fix this. And he's going to charge me a very fair price, so I'm going to tip him good because, like, he has to take all of this out ju just for a simple fix. Like, if if he had to come in for an upright piano and fix this, the problem, like, I already know the problem, but I don't know how to take this out. If it was a vertical piano, I might be able to fix this myself. I actually, and I feel, and anyways, so what I'm trying to get at is don't listen to technicians. Get yourself a spinet if you're thinking about getting a spinet um but just you know respect the technician for why they say that there are drawbacks and make sure do some research on the spinet um the only ones that are viable from what i've researched are baldwin so yeah if you find yourself like a good condition baldwin spinet and that's your price range, it's way better than an electric piano.